Welcome to episode 100 of the BCF ORG podcast, The Business of Business. I'm Brian Fisher. In the previous episode, 99, our guest was Patrick Hardy discussing disaster and disruption planning. This podcast series is targeted to business owners and C-suite executives. It reflects my 34 years as a business owner and subsequent years as a business mentor and consultant. It focuses on the various subjects and topics aimed at helping you run a successful, profitable business. The podcasts are approximately 15 minutes long, so you can listen while commuting. Hopefully, you'll find one or two takeaways to implement per episode. I thought about what to do for episode 100 and decided to review some of the previous 99 episodes of this podcast and the value they bring to you. More of an overview versus a detailed episode-by-episode review, I don't want to bore you with information that would tend to run together. At two episodes per month, I've been doing this podcast for just over four years. I'm basically a forward-looking person, but every once in a while, everyone, including me, needs to take time to reflect on the big picture. Doing this podcast has been a very interesting journey and a tremendous learning experience. A word that comes to mind is gratitude. Gratitude to you and to our guests for your support and suggestions. There's been a lot of positive feedback on this podcast series. As usual, I want to be better, appreciate, and look forward to your feedback. Running a successful profitable business has many moving components, all of which must work together to achieve success. With that in mind, each episode brings value and each guest knows their stuff. Perhaps not every episode is for you, but each episode has solid content for its related topic. I've learned so much from the guest, all of whom have solid experience in their area of expertise. I start off asking each guest about their background and how they arrived at where they are today. Because none of us has a linear path throughout our careers, and their stories are very interesting. With what I've learned over the past four years, my company would have been different, more profitable, and I would have been a better CEO. I did okay, founding, growing, and eventually selling a highly respected, profitable business after 34 years but I would have done it better. Being a business owner for 34 years, and no longer so after selling my business, I was lost. My identity had been wrapped up with the business. It was approximately one half of my life and two thirds of my career. One day I was a founder, CEO president of a successful profitable business, and the next day I wasn't. I have since found out that is not unusual. It takes time to come to terms with that reality. I had not thought of myself as a business person, but more as a professional salesperson. But with my business background, surviving several business cycles, and other events, I decided to start this podcast to help you run a successful, profitable business. In episode 50, I reviewed the previous episodes, so I won't cover those here again. However, you may want to go back to episode 50 to review those topics. All was solid content and well worth the review. Wherever you get your podcasts, the episodes are listed in numerical order, then the subject matter. The podcast has covered several topics in management, sales, financial, and operations. Recently, I added a fifth category, personal. So often in running a business, we get wrapped up in the numbers. The personal side covers topics such as burnout, work-life balance, personal financial well-being, and so on. In episode 62, Doug Peacock's career was a high school football coach. He put away for retirement every paycheck, as he was told to do. When he retired, he was surprised to find out he didn't have enough money for retirement, and nobody ever said anything to him along the way. You're probably thinking, what? Who managed this program? But these things happen. He took that opportunity to start a financial investment company so the football players and teachers would not end up in the same situation. This struck a chord with me because as we are working our whole life, eventually retirement will become a reality. 
and needs to be properly planned, reviewed, and funded. Initially, the podcasts were about various topics, such as setting your vision, a strategic plan, a business plan, EBITDA, gross margin, cash flow planning, problem solving, sales funnel, and several other topics. Episode 14 saw our first guest, Jerry Bodenheimer, about saving money on shipping expenses. As time went on, more and more people requested to be a guest. Now, I typically get five to six guest requests per month for the two slots. The episodes cover a wide variety of topics. They are listed by number, then the topic. With that in mind, I encourage you to scan through the episodes and listen to the ones that are pertinent to you. Each one brings solid value. At first, most of the listeners were in North America. As the podcast has grown, so has the international listenership, to where it is trending about 50-50. The podcast series breaks down with 43 episodes covering management, 24 covering sales, 9 episodes cover operations, 9 episodes cover financial, and 16 episodes cover personal topics. Here are some of the topics, but not limited to what we discussed in each category. In the management category, topics discussed included your team, delegating, empowerment, hiring, business plan, SWAT, procrastination, leadership, growth, and more. Sales included balanced selling, consultative solution selling, sales funnel, sales from a financial ROI perspective, prospecting, professional sales, being customer-centric, finding the holes in your sales process, plus others. Operations included insurance, leases, inventory, shipping, and so on. Financial included ratios, indicators, accounts payable, receivable, line of credit, cash flow planning, and more. Personal included knowledgeable personal financial planning, burnout, work-life balance, and more. This is highlighted in Episode 77, Achievement, Fulfillment, and Burnout with Eric Richter. Eric is a dentist that experienced all three. We are wired or trained to chase the next achievement, whether being a job title, money, purchase order, or so forth. Never done or satisfied because we are on to the next achievement, like chasing a carrot on a stick. But are we fulfilled as individuals? Achievements are good and needed but fulfillment is better. Then there's burnout, eventually almost all of its experience. From my personal experience, this category is so important for our overall well-being and rarely discussed. It's never too late to take a breath. Please feel free to reach out to me with questions on any of these episodes. Managing the performance of your company is one of the most important things you do as a leader. This podcast is on YouTube and over 20 podcast directories. In search, type BCF-ORG. Be sure to leave a space between BCF and ORG. And don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow the podcast. If you'd like to reach out to me for business consulting, schedule a speaking engagement, ask questions, make comments, suggest ideas, or potentially be a guest, please go to bcforg.com. There's a red Contact Us button in the middle of the homepage. A LinkedIn symbol's on the upper right. Click on that if you'd like to see my profile. All the podcasts are available by clicking on the website podcast page in the reference bar. These podcasts will be released the first and third Tuesday each month. In the next episode, 101, our guest will be Nolan Bradbury discussing business accounting, for non-accountants. That's me, and it's probably you. In business, running a successful, profitable business is the ultimate scorecard. You are never done and can always be better. It tends to be more fun than work, frustrating at times, but can be very rewarding. And never underestimate the value of a business plan and financial planning. Well, there you have it, episode 100. From BCFORG Corp., I'm Brian Fisher, wishing you the best. Thanks.